G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here. Hope you're doing bloody not bad at all. Oh, I'm excited about this video. Feminists all over the globe have taken over the fastest rising social media platform that we have ever seen. Tick tock. Oh, you're with her now? Okay. I guess I'll just have to show you what you're missing. It's the cringiest fucking platform going around. If for, the, for the uninitiated, it's the new version of Tumblr. You sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if, what if we're dangerous? It's where talent goes to die. Opinions are just fucking shit house. And there's so many young kids that I'm pretty sure sex offenders just chill out there all fucking afternoon. It's creepy as fuck. But anyway, on to the craziest feminist that I've ever seen. But first, this video is brought to you by Rage... Footmouse? Introducing a revolution in gaming. Footmouse, the first science-based gaming mouse made for feet. I've been using Footmouse since 2017. But not on land. There's a lot of controversy as to whether or not Footmouse should be- Aha! Gotcha! Footmouse is brought to you by Rage Shadow Legends. It's the greatest game that we've ever seen on mobile. I cannot get enough of it. The storyline is incredible. The, oh, the graphics, ladies and gentlemen, they are second to none. It's absolutely amazing. The daily rewards program for new players has been doubled from 90 days to 180 days. Each day you can claim your free rewards from free energy refills, silver and gems, to shards and a free barbarian legendary champion Sill of the Drake. Go to the video description right now and click on the special links and if you're a new player you'll receive a hundred thousand silver and one free epic champion Jotan. And all this treasure we're waiting for you right here. Good luck ladies and gentlemen and I'll see you there. Thank you very much Raid for sponsoring the video because let's face it this shit's not gonna get monetized at all. Now angry cranky feminists let's fucking do it! In 1998 Hollywood invented. Oh, for fuck's sake, what are you? I don't really know what the flags in the background and the messy bed and the undecided opinion on, on what colour your hair should be, but let me tell you, bitch, oh, you have my undivided attention. The blonde cheerleader and the brunette nerd to keep women in competition so we wouldn't realise the true enemy was men. Um, okay. Listen up, you hot bit of gear. Blaming... Hollywood because women who have blonde hair are cheerleaders and women who have brunette hair are, are nerds and librarians is absolutely fucking hilarious, okay? The reason that blonde chicks are cheerleaders and brunette chicks are the smart nerdy ones is because all blonde women say these type of phrases. Oh my god! Are you so Serious? No fucking way. I'm so fucking hot right now. But this TikTok right here, it has something in common with all of the other TikToks that I'm about to show you. The one thing they blame more than anything else for anything wrong in their lives is blokes, men, dudes, people with the penises. That is the common thread here. They all want to blame men for their problems. But it's quite fun to watch. I'm not like the other girls. I Fuck me. Who are you? Post Malone's stunt double. Those tattoos, those mad tats at the top of your head. Looks like you fucking <laughs> headbutted some dickhead's tag on a train. It looks fucking stupid. I'm not like the other girls. I say sexist jokes. <laughs> this TikTok is a parody of, of, of a woman's TikTok who is not a feminist. And she's making fun of these women who aren't feminist because it's so crazy to be a woman and not someone who hates men. Here's the thing with the whole sexist joke. Telling a sexist joke is not being sexist because it is a joke and jokes are pretend. They're not real. They're make-believe, you see? But the problem with people calling out sexist jokes as being sexist is it takes away from the real sexists of the world. There are real people out there who hate women. There are real men out there who hate women and that's fucking horrible. There's also real women out there that hate men. Feminists. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I drink beer even though I don't actually like it. 
Well, you're a fucking idiot then. Drink what you want. If you're a woman and you want to drink beer, drink fucking beer. If you're a bloke and you want to drink cruises, drink cruises. You fucking pussy. I'm not like the other girls. I'll let you say the n-word and I won't ever give you a history lesson. Whoa, okay. Has anyone ever actually had to weigh that up when making a decision between two potential mates? Oh, this one, uh, she loves me. She's very nice to me. She's kind. She's attractive. She's beautiful. She's got big old bitties. She's nice. She makes me a better person. But this one, she lets me say no. I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> I'll be one of the boys with you. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I'll let you do drugs every day. This has never made sense to me ever. Why would any bloke want their girlfriend or partner or wife to be one of the boys? Running around fucking sack whacking them. Daxing them in the middle of cooking dinner. Fucking running around spiking their drinks with drugs. Encouraging them to do drugs. You don't want your girlfriend to be one of the boys. That's fucking ridiculous. You, you get a girlfriend to get away from the boys because you've nearly died 14 fucking times. That's exactly how I feel. Oh God. That's exactly how I feel. Yes. Yes, it does. That's exactly how I feel. What the fuck are you doing, mate? This is very common, in fact. Men become male feminists because of one reason. They do it because they don't want to seem as if they're the evil man. They're on the woman's side. But they have an ulterior motive. They're trying to have sex with women. And they don't have the ability to do that the normal way by being attractive or pheromones or abs or chesticles, whatever you want to fucking... Whatever, beards, all right? That's what attracts women. So they, they, they use this real sneaky and gross way of doing it by sneaking into the female's camp and being one of them. Look, I'm one of you. Don't suspect me. And then BAM! They turn out to be a fucking creep because all male feminists are fucking creeps. Every last one of the pricks. Did you know male reindeer actually lose their antlers in the winter? Meanwhile, female reindeer keep them. Guys, that means Santa's sleigh is pulled by an awesome team of all women. Yes to girl power. Yep, turns out girls rule and boys get Christmas off with their families to drink beer and eat turkey. Sounds fair to me. Okay, so just go through this with me one more time. Okay. If he does it and I let him. You're curious. And if he wants to, but I stop him. You're respecting yourself. And if I let him in, I like You go, girl. I'm over this sound. You know what? She has a point there. We should all be proud of our sexuality, whatever it happens to be. If you're a chick and you love dick, good fuck it on you, baby. You fucking get that pork sword. You throw it straight up your ass and your mouth and your badge, wherever you bloody want it. All right, this lady is proud of how much she loves dick. And I'm happy to listen to her talk about how much she loves dick. All right, I want to watch more of her TikToks. Let's do it. <laughs> Um, okay, that's definitely her dad. Um, I, I don't know if we should be proud of her sexuality now. Uh, let's move on to something a bit more... Uh, fuck me, I'm freaking out. That's just weird. That's some Tasmania shit right there. I brought you into this video because I promised you the worst feminist on TikTok and it's time to bring her to the forefront. You see, she's already been on my channel before. She's a friend of the show. She is none other than Gothic. With four C's in a name for some fucking reason. They see me rolling, they hate it, Oh, this should be great fun. Trying to get me riding dirty, trying to get me riding dirty. This is on TikTok considered content. This video has thousands of likes. Gone are the days where people spend weeks, months, an age trying to write a video, perform a video, film a video, edit a video and put it out there. Now you just film yourself on the back of a John Deere with someone else's music. Fuck this chick. When you sneeze on your period. Okay, this should be fucking disgusting. Hey yo, look like I'm going for a swim. Did she just say going for a swim? That's just so fucking gross. Why are you people, when I say you people, I mean women, so proud of your period? You're bleeding from your vag. That's it. Who gives a shit? That's like me making a TikTok right now going, Oh, when well you got hay fever and you really need to shit. <laughs> it's fucking gross. No one wants to hear about you filling up your Reg Grundies with blood and clots and shit. Alright? Fuck off. So you're telling me this is how the boys turn up? Hmm. Then I'm gonna stick with the girls. So you're telling me that some 
women, when they are raped, the most heinous thing you can do to a person other than murdering them, their boyfriends dump them. That's fucked. Okay, I don't think that happens that much, but maybe it does. And if that happens, then obviously in that situation, it's a horrible thing to go through, but it's probably a good thing. If someone leaves you because of that, they're not going to stick around in other hard times during your life. So fuck that dude or that girl or whoever it happens to be. But this is once again, blaming men. She's pointing out that men are the problem. And Gothic is a proud lesbian. And she is really, she is really forward in pushing that upon everybody. In fact, she almost goes as far to pull out her favorite double-ended dildo and wave it figuratively in the face of everyone on her TikTok. She fucking hates blokes. Some dudes be like, Dishwasher! Laundry machine! What are you doing out of the kitchen? Go make me a sandwich! Then when you get upset at these comments because they perpetuate misogyny in America, and worldwide for that matter... <sighs> Listen up here, squid lips! <laughs> squid lips. Your lips look like calamari. That's what it fucking looks like. They pass it off as a joke. If your joke comes at the expense of a minority, it's probably not funny. You, being female, is not a minority. You are not, okay? When it comes to birth rates, I think it's 50.4% of the babies born are male, right? Which leaves 49.6% female. But at the age of 25, that almost levels out because men are more likely to die younger than women. In fact, in older years, there are more females than males. So in fact, you are the majority. So when we tell jokes about women, we're actually punching up. Probably shouldn't punch women at all. That's bad. Naughty boy. Point being, you're not a minority. Harden the fuck up. And in very poor taste. And then if a woman makes a kill all men joke, the men in the comments fucking riot. Like you get so much hate for it. You get not all men, misandrist. But like, bro, chill. It was a woman making a joke. You might not find it funny because it came at your expense. Saying kill all men is not a joke, unless it is the butt of a joke or the punchline of a joke. But in most practices, when it comes to feminists, and particularly on social media, people like Clementine Ford, they don't use it as a joke. It's not a part of a joke. It's not a punchline. It's not a setup. It's a literal statement that they make because they do not like men, because they've had bad experiences with men. Maybe their dad was a prick or their first boyfriend was a piece of shit or whatever. They've had a bad experience. Now they write all dudes off. Ladies, you don't need feminism to find happiness in life. A man should not be a feminist, number one. He should treat you equally to himself because he's a good person, not because he needs to have a movement behind him. And ladies, you don't need feminism to push yourself forward. Just be good at what you do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did, just being an absolute asshole to people. It's what I do best, ladies and gentlemen. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. And I'll see you all very soon. Toodaloo, wah, wah, bye.